Jared. I know it's you now. Get lost. You're out of your territory down here, Faraday. Get back to your garden. Crawl back in the cave, creep. Dad, you scared the heck out of me. Good. Who else is with you? No one. No one important anyway. You know you kids shouldn't be in the mines alone. Now scram. But Dad, you promised I could help with the deep drilling. Not now. Not when I got a bunch of so-called experts arriving to tell me how to run the mines. Now hop it, mate. I don't know why we have to detour this dumb rock in the first place. Because, Kunko, our company decided to send your dumb father to do some dumb tests in the dumb mines. But it's prehistoric down there. They live in caves. There are the kids down there. Yeah, and I bet they all drag their knuckles on the ground. It's just a boring pile of rock. No, trace elements. If we can extract it from this stuff, we won't have to wait 10 months for supplies from Earth. somewhere. Professor? Patience, Michael. Wow. A fossil. An alien's eyeball. They're down there for sure. And you know what? The deep drilling will disturb them. Big, black, scaly xenomorphs. Kingston, you're an idiot. And also, they're going to come up and eat us. Kingston, no. There's something wrong with the gene <laughs> culture. <laughs> <clears throat> what if I told you about poisoning small children? Yeah. How does one deal with it? They <clears throat> left info files. Where did you get these? Oh, down in G7, for the, for the plants. Michael, I want you to stay out of the mines. I just went down... Promise me. That. Now do as I say, please. It's not safe. I knew it. Xenomorphs. First survey by Voyager in the 20th century, Io represents the zenith of human endeavor. A testimony to the dedicated men and women who have sacrificed much to forge this frontier of the future. Creature comforts? Not out here. Io is an outpost, a remote frontier, carved by courage and built on bravery. Death Valley. These are dedicated colonists, <laughs> pioneers of space. Attention all personnel. The space cruiser of San Juan 12 is now secured in its orbit. Company Geodius Assists estimate the time of arrival by 1500 hours. I'm warning you, you'll regret it. I'm really quaking in my boots. No, you, you better put it back. Make me. <laughs> I warned you. You creep. You're dead, Faraday. They're sending a tug. A space tug? How small? Can't this thing land? It's only a short trip. I knew it. Frontier Hicks. Access denied. What? Oh, no. There's no way out, Faraday. Michael! Up here, Kingston! Access denied. I'll get you, butthead. <coughs> you can run, but you can't hide. What's his problem? Bad strawberries. You know where you're going. Hey, the tunnel rat knows everything. <laughs> Should have seen the look on Jared's face. Duffy's office. What? Suspend the deep drilling. That's all I ask. 
at least until the expert. Impossible. You conveniently forget this is a commercial operation. Just let them complete their tests. But quotas to fill. I tell you, you're too close to the lava chamber. I'm getting very tired of your harebrained predictions. Look, here are the facts. On file. If you breach the lava chamber, then heaven help us. Right. You hold it right there. Do you seriously think I'd continue this operation if it risked the lives of anyone in this colony? I promise it won't happen again, will it, Michael? No, Dad. Someone will get hurt, seriously hurt, then I know who you'll blame. George, if Michael says it won't happen again... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Then he means it. Now, I've got a liner to meet. I expect discipline. What else would you like me to do, George? Stake him out to an ant's nest? Don't tempt me. What on earth were you doing in the air duct in Duffy's office in the first place? Well, oh, on second thoughts, I don't really want to know. Dad. What? What would happen if a deep drilling hit the lava chamber? What? Who put that little idea into your head? Well, Professor Ingersoll. No, not again. What was it last time he, a comet was going to come through and destroy the colony? Look, you go and get yourself cleaned up and get ready for your guest. But I'm coming with you. Go. Next year, eh? Oh, and I found this great beach. You'll love it. And the light's flashing. Look, give your dad a kiss for me. <laughs> Not likely. Oh, guess what? I got a dog. A and it's been raining. Oh, Michael, just wait till you feel what that's like. I love you. Duffy. I call the dog Duffy. <laughs> to impress. Cool, dude. Shut up, idiot. Okay. So, what'd you get? A warning. How about you? What did your mum say? The usual, no time for this. Someone had measles. It's always some disease. Consider yourself lucky. You ready? Yep. <laughs> Love that hair. Once she gets her feet on Terra Farm. The boss will want to see you right away. He'll be waiting in the Jupiter bar. Jupiter bar. How quaint. Scientist. I bet she's an egghead. You're late. Sorry. I'm warning you, you step out of line one more time, you'll rue the day you were born. Oh, look! That must be them. Remember, just one step. Sleezoid. We expect you to make an effort this time. Don't worry, I'll turn the socks off them. 
if they wear any. Ah, thank you, Sam. Tatsia, Akiko, finally we meet. How do you do? What's the limey two-faced snake? How does he do it? To meet you. May I welcome you both huh? to our oh, humble practice. Home. This is our daughter, Kumiko. No doubt a well-behaved young lady. Welcome to Ayo. I couldn't think of a nicer place to spend my holiday. Come on, boys. Front and centre. Bye. Just tell her where I'm staying. <laughs> we wouldn't hear of it. So, have you got a name? Kumiko. Well, I'm Michael, and this is Kingston. <sighs> Ice woman from hell. They hate me. I can tell. Kumi, give them a chance. You've only just met. There are more important things than your computer. So how long are we going to be stuck here? We'll know after the briefing. Forever, I bet. We can grill her about the deep drilling. What would she know? More than us, that's for sure. Battle spaceships. So, uh, where do you want to start? You don't have to do this, you know. It's the rule. All visitors must be chaperoned. You see, the last tourist who was left on his own, he opened the wrong door. It took three days just to clean up the mess. Mm. Ugh, it was disgusting. I'm not a tourist. I'm a conscript. She's an android. That's the only explanation. Zero intelligence transporter. Sick reporting for duty. Pretty neat, hey? Uh-oh, here we go. Disaster imminent. Battle stations. Uh, Earth tremors. Oh, I don't feel so good. I told you, the whole place is going to blow up. Look, it happens all the time. Io's unstable. Oh. The large dome, that's your separation plug. And just a little over to the right are the furnaces in the metal extraction chamber. So, what do you know about the deep drilling? What? The mines. They don't explode. That's why you're here, isn't it? Kingston, I'm here because my parents dragged me here. So you must know something. What do your parents do? Mum's a doctor. So that makes you an expert in medicine? Told you, we go our own. Try one. Mmm, delicious. Aren't you going to have some? for real fun in this dump. Why on earth would I want to see a dump or carry it? <laughs> Maybe she has to check with the parents. <laughs> I can do what I like. You're not frightened, eh? Just lead the way. <laughs> Aren't you coming? He could have been joking. The way he drives. Oh, sure. As if. <laughs> hey, it's been nice knowing you. They all carry in the right direction, zoom, straight to earth. Ten months tops. Maybe I could stow away. <laughs> Be a lonely trip. It's completely automatic. Okay, you guys, hold on tight. It's the best bit. Michael? You're not serious. 
Stand by warp drive. Hoon's in space. Just keep your mind on the job. You sure you know what you're doing? Easy. 360 coming up. Michael, lay off. What's that? Michael, what have you done? I, I didn't do anything. What are you trying to do? Kill us? It's all right, got it. this rock and I see my entire life flash before my eyes. And what a wondrous and fascinating vision that'd be. Dice line. <laughs> Boys and their toys. Just when I was beginning to like you guys. Good shot. Congratulations, Kumiko. Kumiko wins. Whoa, get serious? <laughs> Who are you trying to impress? Drop dead worm. Hi, I'm Jared, a local Neanderthal. Lay off my brother, you big lug. And who's this, your bodyguard? Anna, beat it. He got dressed up just for you. <laughs> this close worm. Aren't you bored with these idiots yet? Access approved. One of the old personnel entrances. Anything you want to know, just ask. My dad's one of the chief engineers. Look, this is not a good idea. Don't worry, Wimp. I'll look after you. You guys are so keen to find out about the deep drilling. Here's a chance. Michael, this is trouble. I can't let her go off by herself. She's not by herself. Muscle heads with her. No offence. None taken. Not scared, are you? <sighs> Cover for us. No way! You get blown up, don't expect me to come in and rescue you. That girl is definitely trouble. Everything's automated. Five extraction shafts, all of them operational. Lightweight metals, use your computer ticket spacecraft. What's that noise? It's just the deep drilling program. Where are you from? Earth, where I should be right now. Stop complaining, I've never even been there. Earth, you're joking. No, it's true. My mum's there. She went back to work in aerospace, so I go next year. Come on, Herbert. Relax. It happens all the time. Look, we can go back if you'd like. No, look, she wanted to see the deep drilling program, remember? Let's just do it and get out of here. Mining technology like you've never seen before. Peace, that was it. after the accidents. Very funny. It cuts back into the new tunnels further.
You sure you know where you're going? Yeah, yeah, the shoulder's just this way. 